okay wait like i wasn't planning on speaking right now but you know like i feel this whole lucha event needs to be explained vocally like it deserves it's like two minutes of flexing draconic but yeah good morning draconic cesar so yes yeah, cesar was there draconic but basically what happened is um the stream gods were with me that night i got lucha i think i i got lucha and uh the five star light cone i think within like 60 pulls or something like that yeah it was a it was a very crazy night for a gachaing um what i can say is that obviously there was elna cesar i think hanai maybe maya who were there emotionally with me for the gacha but as soon i swear as soon as oli oli appeared as soon as they appeared in chat lua cha came home and then 20 pulls later the five star light cone came home so i'm just saying guys like yes stream luck is real but like ollie i think might have like a certain factor to play into the luck i got that night just saying you know credit given credit due but um yeah that's what happened draconic so locha already is um having fun in my team oh good good evening cesar yes now uh Sad, I have to grind again because Blade, I think, is coming out in like the next few weeks. And I need my Blade, guys. You know you know me and my Ikemens, right? I need my Ikemens and my team. So, I uh, gotta... Yo, gotta grind for Blade. And then I have to keep grinding because maybe like Danghang's 5-star will be coming out too. So it's just gonna be grind after grind after grind. I have to maintain my my stellar jade at like 15,000 if I can to get those like 90 pulls. Yo, don't worry, Draconic. For sure you'll make it. I got faith in you, homie. I will be sending you uh, the rest of my uh, gacha luck I got from uh, Stream and Ollie. Yo, seriously. Yeah, I think it would make sense though because they're both like wind, right? Good morning, Hanae. How are you, homie? We're just low key talking a bit about a. Uh, Honkai, before we start playing uh, Dream Daddy together, don't know which daddy we're gonna end up wanting to go for, guys, but uh, hey, every day is a, is a new chance for adventure, right? Yo, Adelons, bro, like, I don't know. I think from like start of game, I never, I never counted on myself to get like Adelons. Like, I would have to grind way too much, and I don't think as an F2P, like, I could ever have enough Stellar Jace to even like try for Adelons. I think like it's much for F2Ps, it's it's much easier. Well, a quote unquote easier. I talk as if it was really easy. It's much easier to get them if you're playing for like the basic banner. But uh, yo, those limited banners, I, I don't think I'll be uh, trying for to get upgrades. Oh, okay, Draconic. Then you're pretty much you you pretty much uh, set yourself for success. What if Daddy leaves her milk? That's fine, Cesar. We'll, we'll be our own daddy then. You know, like daddy independ independency like who needs another daddy when you uh but draconic my friend that is because i did just wake up yeah i always sound dead on sunday streams because especially today because i literally kind of just woke up i have just like gobbled down some like breakfast because i think i i wish for sure i was gonna starve on stream or else but yes um Yes, I have just woken up. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, my uh, dej as f voice this morning. Um, so I will still try to play them characters and quote unquote dare to low key voice act those um, characters. But um, yeah, guys, uh, you're you're stuck with me this this evening or this morning or this afternoon with um, my dead as f voice. Yep. Welcome to dead voice to casa streams. <clears throat> and my voice is dead. Maybe because I don't really want characters right now. Oh, then that's good. I think it's also good when, like, 
damn that voice crack yeah, sexy morning voice crackles uh yeah i think that's pretty good if like you're pining for only one character and you want to like max upgrade i think that's pretty good i'm i'm seriously like i'm too thirsty for all those those cute boys okay guys so uh i need all of them i, I i'm i'm prioritizing the harem i want to build in honkai versus the adolon upgrades <laughs> any hot guy that comes in i need them in my team Yeah, or else like I'm still uh, trying to get Jepard, but uh, Jepard's I think is gonna take a while for me. Ain't exactly collecting those normal tickets really fast. The voices in my head will do the VA for me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, where's the game? Let me pull up the game real quick. Oh. For me, I want every Hankai third character to need wealth, Bronya, and Luo Chan. Oh, wow. That means you pretty much got everyone. That's pretty cool. Okay, guys. You know how not awake I am? I don't know if you just saw my fail on screen, but uh, I was trying to reactivate the music on my streaming program and not on the actual program. Yeah, uh, morning brain is not there. Let's get it. Get a cobwebs? No! Jumpy! Jumpy! Dad. Oh, so we're the dad. Dad, wake up! Wake up, pretend to be dead. Five more minutes. Oh, I it just said, um, Draconic, it said that it wouldn't, like, put any, like, copyrighted content, I guess, on stream. Uh, yeah, so I just checked it, just in case, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> I thought the wake up, pretend to be dead five more minutes was like the dialogue, but it was actually the options. Okay. My brain needs to wake up or this is going to be a long stream. <laughs> okay. Wake up, pretend to be dead five more minutes. Oh my goodness. Yo, guys, I think uh, it's obvious. Pretend to be dead. Amanda the Explorer. Well, Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. Oh, damn. Okay, I thought it was a little girl. My bad. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath you to all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Uh. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. Spooning a moving box? Damn, I don't know. If that, that sounds kind of sad, guys. M spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Ugh. Ugh. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Yo, spooning a moving box, guys. Like, build that dad. Oh damn! Okay, we get to build that dad. Oh damn! Even crop tops. Wait, I guess I have to build it like me. Like, uh, maybe this one. Yeah. 
I think this one would get closer. Uh, oh wait, you can take off the hair. Okay, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Says our old boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let, let's see if I can make it close enough to what's cross as a avatar, but uh, I actually like this one. Let's let's go for the. Yo guys, if there are ab options, might as well show them off. Okay, we're we're going for a crop top. Oh, okay, no, maybe, maybe no shadow. We, we need, guys, we need to build an, uh, an Ikemen, okay? We, we need Ikemen in this daddy game. Okay, that looks pretty Ikemen to me. Okay, wait, I got black hair. Yo, that jawline could be a sashimi. Are we back? Are we back? Yo, what is this? Are we back? Please? Please tell me we're back. Guys? Are we good now? Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry for that. It's been a while since uh, OBS Kun's been uh, trolling me like this yet again. I guess uh, I'll be praying the whole stream with a cold sweat down my back that um, the stream stays consistent. Goodness gracious. At this point, are we even gonna get past the building the character? Erf. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, that's. These eyes are me this morning, like, totally. Yo, the Goku hair. Yo, bombastic side eye. Damn. Good morning, illness. Or good evening, how are you? Right on time, we're, we're building uh, our own uh, daddy character. Gotta make us really good looking, you know? Cause we gotta attract the other daddies. Yeah. Hey, this one's not bad, actually. Oh, this one is funny. Huh. Yo, seriously, you came right on time. Give beer, bot. Which eyes I want to get. They, they're all uh, very unique, if I can say it that way. I guess I'll go for these ones. These ones look the most, like, I guess basic. Okay, we need a uh, Ikemen anime. Oh, oh my god. Yo, this nose, I don't know if you guys saw, like, uh, a bit of this anime, but you know the anime with, like, the good looking guys, but they have, like, super sharp chins? This is what, like, this nose reminds me of. Mm. I guess this one's the most anime-ish. I don't remember the name. But like, I'm sure if you Google like long chin anime or something, you're gonna find it like, um, literally, uh, yeah, I think it's the meme anime. Yeah, I think the guy was blonde and had like googly eyes, but then like the chin was like sharp, like it could like stab you. That's how sharp the chin was. <gasps> Too sad, okay, my bro man, darling. Kaiji. Wait, give me a refresher. Who's Kaiji again? Ooh, cat lips. Oh, 
What do you mean? No, no, no. No, stay, no, no, no. Yo, I need a, a not impressed face. That's how I am on daily basis. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. We're, we're chewing on sand bonds here. Oh, that's kind of creepy. I guess I'll pick this one. That's how I always have an RBF, guys. <laughs> the gambler. The gambler. I think. I think my morning brain is too dead. Draconic cannot uh, access to uh, the memories. Oh, blue. Yo, do they have black? Oh, guys, guys, shall we go for the black lips to look edgy? Shall we? Hello, Clement. Nice to see you here. I think, I think it's our first time seeing you on stream. How are you, Clement? Guys, should we opt for the black lipstick? I think the black list lipstick be adding some edginess to us. How about it, guys? Black lipstick? Is it a pass or a smash? Ah, yes, Tzu-chan. We still have to uh, change the eyebrow. Sheesh! Is that a yes for the black lipstick? If ever we quote unquote uh, get some lick action with another hot daddy, well, uh, there you go. The black the black lipstick will uh, leave them proofs. I mean, at the core, I'm pretty I'm pretty emo, so I guess the the black lipstick will translate the darkness within. Okay, wait, we, we need black eyebrows. We need... Black eyebrows. You like the pog mouth? Oh, this one's pretty cool. Yes! Oh, I think I wore like... I actually already tried black lipstick like once or twice when I was younger. But it was like for a... A Halloween costume though, but yeah, I think I had a low-key like shocked my classmates because uh, I looked pretty quote-unquote tame, but then on Halloween I went full like all black gothic. I had like a red cross on my back. I wore like black lipstick. I, I Basically, I tried to look as emo as possible. But yeah, so uh, this, this brings back memories guys. Come on, Big Daddy give big kisses. Exactly, Draconic. That's what I'm talking about. We're not here for some uh, little, uh, little lip kisses. We're here for the big action. Clement, you this is my first time joining. Hey, love your car. Thank you so much, Clement. That's so sweet. Oh, do you have... Oh, Clement, I asked this to like pretty much everyone. But do you have a favorite? It would, uh, yeah, you know, just for um, research purposes. Oh man, these ones are sassy. Okay, these ones just make me look really like mean. May I have a closer look, sir? <laughs> oh damn, we got them. We got them rockly eyebrows over here. Should I give two cents bright? Have black lips. Oh, yo, Elnuf, if you if you want to, I guess. I don't really mind actually. You know what? We're gonna go with the badass um eyebrows with the Yeah, we're gonna go with the badass eyebrows. I forgot how you call the um, the kind of slash on the corner. Wasn't there like a specific term for this? If anyone can Yes. Just to like it it helps me to know like you know what every listener like what's their favorite because then uh, you know it helps me curate my future covers just knowing what you like the most bashi bro sensei yo seriously like rockley was such an amazing character like he's like loyal he's nice he's quote-unquote funny and like I mean, I know Sakura chose Sasuke but like at some point I was like you know what like I feel like if she went for Rock Lee 
she wouldn't have like half of the like the emotional pain she had to go through. I'm just like, you know, Rock Lee may not be the most ikemen in Naruto, but um, he was there for her, you know. I was like, oh well, I guess. Ikemens are ikemens. You like Itachi? Daddy, <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> Tsucha. <laughs> oh, wait. I I actually. Damn, I look like that, um, that Pringle logo with a mustache. Yeah, I could low key, like, never have, like, a mustache or a beard. Like, I would literally, like, I don't think I quote unquote could eat without like spilling everything on me. I would probably like have a boba like just hiding in my beard, you know? Okay, Cesar, okay. <laughs> oh, no, wait, I forgot to take off. No, I forgot to take off the, the beard. Fringle daddy. <laughs> oh, yo, we have to wear glasses, guys. We need, we need to wear glasses every, we, we have to be the Megane Ikemen, okay? Uh, yo, seriously, let me tell you. You get pretty boys who like okay, pretty boys are pretty boys, right? They're they're, they're already pretty. They're already ikemens, but like ikemens who look so good in glasses, bro. Like that's just a, another level of like ikemen, okay? Like ikemens who can pull off glasses are the most ikemen out of all the ikemens, okay? Like you can rock glasses and you can also choose not to rock glasses, but like those who are glasses. That look even better than glasses? Okay, like, I am sent. I go to heaven directly, okay? Like... Then we have... So chip sprinkle, daddy. <laughs> I wonder if they... Oh, they have the aviator ones. Ah, oh, nah. I see, Elnath. I see where your thirst is. Uh. I kind of like the horn rimmed glasses. Looking like that strict secretary. Yo, our character ain't coming to mess around, okay? We're like cataloging the daddies one by one. We're tearing them. We got their whole profile, guys. We're, you know, it's it's gonna we're gonna have a, an official meeting, an official board meeting, the, the daddy board meeting, okay? This is why we gotta look our sharpest, look our best. Yeah, yes, exactly. We're the sugar daddy in here, okay? Daddy's be coming to us. Hey, Doria. Office Lady Sephiroth. Oh my god. Now we see what was the hidden goal. Hey, Shinka! How are you? It's been a while. Yo, those eyebrows, like, I want to get them on myself though, but uh, my eyebrows are no way as close as on the fleek as he is. <gasps> piercings! Oh my god, piercings, 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 piercings! We need them earrings, guys. I wish there was a there was a lip chain, but um. Talking about Pringles, yo. I think the last time I ate Pringles, guys, was like ten years ago, or fifteen. I don't remember the last time I ate Pringles, but it was a a heck of a long time. But I think my favorite, my to go Pringles flavor used to be the. It's the green, the green, uh, the green bottle. I don't remember what flavor that was, but the, the green bottle Pringle used to be my to-go like flavor. What is you guys' favorite Pringle uh, to-go flavor? Yeah, no lip drinks. Hello, Akiri! Our summoned one. Ah, uh, Sag Cesar, we can uh, only have... Wait, no lip drinks. Yeah, sour cream and onion. I think that used to be my favorite one. But yeah, it's sad we can only have one piercing. So I guess we'll go with the... 
with the earrings. You just like me, for real, for real? Lol, yas, based. We got the same faves. Office Lady Sephiroth would go in a board meeting and stab your beloved co-worker with a seven-foot sword. Don't need Pringles now. Fair enough. Oh, the cheese. I actually never tried the cheese one. Damn, okay, I see we're all sour cream enjoyers here. Ate so much, I- oh. I think it's really sad when, like, you enjoy one type of, like, snack so much that you kind of, like, overindulge yourself. And then you end up, like, not being able to, like, even eat a bite of it from overeating that. Like, that's kind of sad, low-key, but, uh... Ah, oh, damn. Oh, okay, wait, not this one. Isn't it- I wish there was, like, a... A leather jacket style. Oh, Shinka too, sour cream based. Yas. Indomie chips, yo, that sounds good. I've never tried that. I'd be down to try. If I f I'll try to find it. Oh damn, we 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 got them CEO outfits, guys. I mean, Doria, so, so is the cycle of life, you know, uh, gotta keep going on. Who knows, maybe in a few years you'll uh, stumble upon those sour cream chips again. You'll be like, you know what, I'll, I'll give it another chance. Maybe this time the, the goodness of it will come back into my taste buds. I actually kind of want to go the basic clothing. Piatos. Is Piatos another, like, uh, brand of, uh, chips? Oh, the skull one? Shall we go for the skull one, then? Clement's rich guy outfit, CEO cat outfit. Okay, guys. So, we're gonna, we're gonna vote. Okay, guys, get ready. We're voting. Okay, so. Okay, that's too much. So, this is option one. The very basic kind of the very basic, like, I guess, fits any person kind of uh, outfit. Okay, guys, option one, play white, plain white tee. Because, like, you get, you see the, like, abs and all, and, like, we be looking good on this one. So, plain white tee, option one. Okay, option two is gonna be the edgy, uh, skull with the red t-shirt, I guess. It kind of fills, it, like, kind of matches our edgy vibe, our emo vibe with the piercings and the, I guess, the... Uh, Kind of, uh, edgy eyebrows. <laughs> Just be natural and by natural, I mean naked. Okay, Cesar, okay, okay. And then we got the CEO, CEO rich guy outfit. So, guys, which one? Is it a one, a two, or a three? Okay, one for the plain one, two for the red one, and three for the CEO suit. Let's go. Okay, Doria, we'll see you next time. Take care. We're gonna be besties for real, for real. Oh, damn, everyone wants the rich CEO? Yeah, okay, I see what everyone's type is now. I see, I see who you guys go for when you play Otome games. Y'all are going for the rich CEO with tons of red flags. I see y'all. <laughs> Damn, Cesar's gonna be the head of uh, the the new head of the I Love Suits Association. I see. Okay, well, Tsuchan, I'm sorry, but uh, I think it's clear as day that we're going with the plain suit. Like, ep everyone said three except you, so... <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna go with the with the plain suit. Oh my god, we go for the Juman Hans. We have the high <laughs> The thirst is becoming real. Yo, y'all are exposed, okay? Y'all are the CEO, the thirsty people for the, for the 
Sugar daddies with the money, the buildings, the penthouses, and the red flags hidden in the closet. But you, okay, Tzu Chan, but you know what I like about it? It's like the contrast. Like they look super like edgy, like with the piercings and the red lipstick, but then they wear like a suit. So uh, I guess uh, not too bad. So okay, we're good guys. Looking good, daddy. Let's go. Name that dad. Okay, name. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go with Tsukasa. Oh wait, no, actually, we're gonna call it Daddy Tsukasa. Hey. hey. I'm too puckered out to be unsay so. <laughs> Elness, you are never too puckered out to be unsay so, okay? But yes, Cesar, go ahead. Take take the unsay so wheel for today. Be that dad. Dad tip number 72. The only acceptable time. Oh, that was too fast. I didn't have time. Did you fall asleep packing? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I messed up. <laughs> I thought they were gonna put like both names, but now my name is just Daddy. <laughs> well, guys, I guess our name is just Daddy now for the whole game. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's that. Um, so uh, my name is not Tsukasa for the entire game anymore. It's gonna be Daddy. <laughs> oh well. Um, I guess I guess we're just gonna yeah. <clears throat> uh, I messed up, but that's fine guys. I mean, we're still in theme with the game <laughs> Yeah, I should have called myself daddy T at this point like T paste daddy T well, um, oh well daddy daddy exactly <clears throat> Exactly Cesar I got most of it done I think Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. <laughs> My doujin box. <laughs> hello, hello. Wait, straggler. Huh? What's in it? Looking into- Don't look into my doujinshi box, okay? I thought like... The doujin box is off limits, daughter. <laughs> Man bro darling daddy, yeah, we're gonna have to add uh, something to Man bro darling. Imagine getting named daddy your parents knew your future. Oh lord Looking into the box. I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums yes. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years I Pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it Yo, that baby had more swag than I did when I was small. Okay, like <laughs> That's the coolest baby I've ever seen Okay, two options. The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I... Bro, like, is that even, like, obviously the only way your father and I... Oh, wait, are we divorced, actually? Does that mean we divorced the... Do we divorce the, the first, like, our first male counterpart? Um... So, guys, um... Did, did we already have a, um, another father with us? Did, were we already married to a male in the beginning? Or uh, did we go the more like hetero way and it was a mother in the beginning? We give birth to the man like the Virgin Mary. Rap style, yeah, yo, seriously. The swag, the drip. I think we're single parent. There's no single parent option. It's only a father or a mother. Your father and I, or your mother and I. You know what? If we're gonna BL this, let's just, let's just BL it all the way, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, Cesar. Uh, your your chat was like two seconds late. <laughs> your chat was two seconds late, and I clicked already. My bad. 
The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we try to take them off, you start crying again. You spend the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Damn, sunglasses on for the two first years. Yo, we're BLing to the end, guys. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four. <laughs> Yo, that dragon costume is so cute, though. I want it. Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both princess dragon. Mm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Right, yup. Yeah. Definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Hmm. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Ah. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Okay, guys, we got superior dad arms. We're, we're buff, okay? We're built. <laughs> Eehaw, exactly. <laughs> Yo, Amanda was born pretty based, man. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Okay, I, I like how we're talking about important blackmail. I... I support it. We, we need important content for later on. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid. Huh. The Scominist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about the rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Yo, do your parents ever, like, get confused with your friend's name? Like, it happens to me all the time that, like, my parents confuse, like, all of my friend's names. And then, like, at this point, I've just given up, you know? I'm just like, you know what, just... Call them whatever you want to call them at this point. I, I, I think I'll kind of understand who you're talking about. Yeah, oh god, the horse face, exactly. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Alright, Emma P was the one who... Tried to steal people's pets? What? That's kind of... That's kind of messed up. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Pooped her pants during a sleepover. Yo, the fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station sounds like what Hanai's like a uh, story character would do, low key. Yo, seriously, Clemence. Yo, Shinka, yo, same. Like, they end up just giving nicknames, and then at the end, it's me who has to learn what every nickname means, okay? At this point, it's not even teaching them the names. It be it goes back to me, okay? Like, legit Uno reverse. I'm the one who has to learn nicknames about my own friends instead. It's just like, bruh. Yo, seriously, what are these options? Okay, this time, guys, so... Which one should we go for? Did, uh, did Emma P try to, like, in Minecraft? Yes, in Minecraft. Thank you for mentioning that, Cesar. Um, yeah, so what do you guys want to choose? Try to steal people's pets? Uh, fire the flaming tennis ball at the PS? Or pooped her pants during a sleepover? Which option speaks to you guys more? <laughs> Fart on you, Cesar, you're gonna pick two. So guys, one, two, or three, two. Okay, Draconic also wants to go for the flaming tennis ball. Two, Clemence, two. Three, because it's too real. <laughs> so 
so far we got three votes for two one vote for oh four votes for two damn y'all want to go with like the the extreme answer okay okay i see okay well i guess we're gonna have to go for two then lighter fluid tennis ball tennis racket right dad that was you oh damn guys that was us all right i was a wild child oh oh it was it was us guys uh, oops i was six when you did it okay amanda i wasn't aiming for the police station it just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where i wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball Ugh. I'm pretty based of us, not gonna lie, lols. <laughs> Yo, guys, we were, damn, we had a... We had some guts. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Huh. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. <laughs> oh my god, yo. I low-key don't like ladybugs, like... Yeah, I don't like any bugs. I don't like butterflies either. I don't like ladybugs either. Like even the the kind of cute or beautiful insects. I just like no insects. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to Nick Fridays. Yes. And then you got Void Puzzle. Oh my god, sorry. Speech impediment debuff alert. <clears throat> and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Totsata Blast. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Aww. Dad. Still, can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Hmm? Bugs are scary when they fly. Clamance, bugs are scary when they jump. Like, what do you guys hate more jumping bugs or flying bugs because i feel jumping bugs have a bit more of a threatening aura than flying bugs sometimes neither of us said a word we stare at the photo for a long moment ah damn that was the the ancient father we had but now we're looking for a new better daddy valid insects look pretty from afar but still freak me out yo seriously Oh, beetles. Flying bugs? Fair enough. I made flying or jumping. Yo, I remember... Okay, long story short, but I remember once, literally, a grasshopper jumped onto me. I froze for, like, one second, and it's like my body just froze, and this grasshopper was just, like, having a nice little, you know, break on my leg. I literally screamed like a caveman. I was like, oh, like, I screamed like a caveman. And I don't know. You know when, like, a bug is on you, you want to kind of, sh like get it off you but at the same time you don't want to touch the bug because you're kind of grossed out that was me i was frozen on place that bug was on a grasshopper was like having a break on my leg i was too disgusted to brush it off of my leg i didn't want like skin to bug contact so all i did was stand there and scream like a caveman but um yeah maybe the decibels my sound waves kind of um scared the grasshopper so it hopped away but um yeah not exactly my uh my rizziest moment but yeah that happened that was, this was the day you were born, or this was the day we adopted you. <laughs> Flying bugs are out for my blood. Yo, mosquitoes, guys. Like, mosquitoes ain't be joking. <laughs> I hate mosquitoes, flies. Oh, flying cockroaches, eesh. Well, I guess it's adopted, right? I don't think there's like um, an Mpreg universe in here. Unless there was this whole uh, Omega Alpha <laughs> context in this game. But uh, I don't think this game has any Omega Alpha kind of alternate universe. Where we're, we're not in an Mpreg <laughs> alternate universe. No, I do not want to be the subject to labor. <laughs> Make your imaginations come to life. <laughs> Draconic. A bee once crashed into... E A bee once crashed into your eye. Pick the Mpreg version. 
Okay, you know what, guys? I mean, we could just infer that um, uh, this is an emp. Okay, fine. Jeez, no need to call me out. But obviously, in this situation, it was the other father who um, popped out the baby, okay? Let's just agree on that. Uh, uh, I'm I'm not exactly uh, signing up for that whole labor process, but uh, my counterpart can have all the credit. I'll just, uh, as the rich daddy, I'll just get the money to feed the home. I think that's good enough. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, uh, just a fender bender. But of course, I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your father... Oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him. He says... It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Uh. He was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. Oh no, longering feelings. Yo, is the father deceased actually? What's happening? This doesn't sound like some simple divorce. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Okay. She pats me on the back. Okay. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Oh shit, did the father actually die, guys? <laughs> did our Omega, uh, is our Omega dead? Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Uh, must be the jeans. I mean, we got superior dad arms, so it's normal our daughter got some of those uh, flexing arms. The, the the other dad got isekai'd. Yo, actually, they got isekai'd, bro. <laughs> hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Yeah. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? Play we get it, Amanda. You you break stuff. Eh? And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Oh lord, thank god we got enough money for insurance. Memories to make and stuff to break. Huh. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I am ready. The moving van be begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So... So what? Huh? So, sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. <clears throat> Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... <laughs> Three options again. A mandated violence against things, eesh. Washer and dryer hookups. A two-car garage. Multiple places to sleep. So guys, how do we want to flex this to uh, our daughter, Amanda? Yo, seriously, like multiple places to sleep sounds pretty good to me. Everyone gets their own bed, washer and dryer. I knew you were gonna pick this. So guys, once again, one, two, or three. I'm waiting y'all to vote in. <laughs> three always. Oh, okay, this time we got more concurrence for number three. You can sleep anywhere, so that teacher is useless. More rooms this many. I'll give ten more seconds for the votes to come in, guys. You can fit all of us in your house. Fair enough. 
Yeah, er yo, you guys can all come sleep at our bachelor pad, okay? Since uh, we got multiple places to sleep. I just don't know what places means in this context, but um, I hope it doesn't mean like the bathtub. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, well, we got two for three and one for one. So, um, this time we'll go with multiple places to sleep. Yo, y'all can come at my place and then we can all go be shopping for them daddies together. I see that as a, as a big win. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. Maybe three? Alright, Clemence, we went for three. <laughs> what a deal! I mean, if I s if sleep weren't for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit, my faults, Pops, I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Why? I thought we were the rich CEO. Why is it smaller? <sighs> Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Yes. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda. You know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Hmm. Not gonna happen, Pops. <sighs> I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Oh, damn, we're sassy. Ah. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. So, you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... <laughs> Don't you dare. Senior. <sighs> Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just gonna ignore that. And yeah. dust like your other- Oh, oof, oof! Me casually evading? Yo, sir, do y'all have your driver's license, low-key? It's fine, I like- I liked it, says I, I liked it. But I won't forget it. So, what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first, we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Pops, cool your jets. We have to promise, you have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. We gotta explore them daddies. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. Oh, nice, Draconic, you got your license. We pull up. Oh, the house is pretty cool, actually. I like it. I can barely cross the road. I'm not gonna drive. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. If you want to kind of practice driving, Mario Kart actually kind of helps. Like, Mario Kart did low-key help me for my driving license. <laughs> we pull up for the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown, and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hi, yeah. And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Hmm. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Okay, guys, time to vote again. Option one. We need to unpack first. Option two. I need some coffee ASAP. Option three. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? 
That's a nice house. Time to sleep in the basement. Yeah, the basement is gonna be the the geek hub. Okay, we're gonna have a gaming space. We're gonna have a, a Dojin BL space. We're gonna have a sub an unsay so corner from the unsay so the, the basement is gonna be a our very own um secret base. Cesar, oh Cesar this time goes for number three. Draconic coffee. Coffee for illness too. Mario Kart will only enforce road violence. Yo, you know which game would really enforce road violence? GTA. Like, GTA would actually enforce enforce road violence. <laughs> oh, damn, the pun. But I'm. Alright, guys. So. But dogs, guys. Yeah, I don't know why, but how, like, our OC said, like, a lot of dogs nearby? It sounds like we have dog hair allergies. Elness, we can have whatever we want. Okay, we got that black card. We got that black credit card. Okay, swish, swish, swash, swash. We can buy anything we want. Okay, well, it was one number three and two number two. So I guess it is number two, guys. Hey, Cesaria, we, we, need, a, we need other people to vote so we can balance the field. But yeah. Curse you, Kathy. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Yes, I need an iced coffee. Thank you very much. Let's do it. We walked down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just make better coffee at home on my own couch? And not have to make awkward eye contact with other people. Yo, guys! We're actually introverts in this game. This is so... Yo. Daddy Tsukasa in this game is literally us, like introverts who wants an iced coffee but doesn't want to like have awkward convos. <laughs> this game, this game, I feel like this game was like built for us. <laughs> Gay dark going off. <laughs> Yo, this introvert personality really be popping off. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like... A little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. Right, Clemence? Yo, seriously, like personal space. We need that. Mm. Dad! <laughs> screw touching grass. <laughs> Yo, screw touching grass. We're touching them, daddies. Damn, okay, like, let's go. We're unhinged. Like, we're, we ain't touching any grass. We're touching them, daddies. <laughs> And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're the that jerk who left their mug? Yo. Ugh. Dad. Are you just afraid to meet new people? Range of attack. Oh, I like that. This is our range of attack. Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. Hey. Oh, guys, we're meeting daddy number one. I'm so angry. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on the well-worn couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Alright, Cesar, I don't promise anything when you come back. Maybe all of us will be, uh, hey, hey. hey uh. <clears throat> oh my god, I don't know how to voice like a hot daddy. <clears throat> Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? <laughs> What's with the name? Sahish! <laughs> oh. oh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets motion and mentioned in this poem I like it. 
I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. Hmm. Elnith, is that you, but in game? Is this your in game persona? <laughs> but people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And now I'm standing there rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Okay, so he's like an awkward rambler. <laughs> That's kind of cute. We got an awkward rambler, I guess that kind of cute, guys. Oh. Oh damn, the the awkward stare, guys. It's the first time we we look into the eyes of a potential counterpart. <laughs> Should we call this Elnath Loki? Hmm. So what'll it be? Huh. I scan the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed. I don't know, Eldith, maybe he has a D&D &D tattoo hidden somewhere. I'll have a... Okay, guys, time to vote. Guys, time to vote. Godspeed, you black coffee. Ice Tegan and Sarah. Chai and Word. Number one, number two, or number three. Okay, guys, I personally, I don't like chai-flavored drinks. So, uh... I'm either one or two, cause I probably don't don't like chai. But um, so guys, bring in your voice, your votes, your voices. Sheesh, ah, uh, speech impediment. Yes, guys, bring in your voice. Oh my God, I keep I keep saying voice. What is it with voice? It's a votes. So casa, it is votes. Bring in your votes, not your voice. Okay, black coffee for a black so for Elnath, masochist. I don't- I have no idea what an Ice Tegan and Sarah is, but that's probably maybe what I would go for. Or the black coffee, I don't mind. Draconic, Clemence, Shinka, Susan, whoever's still there, what do you guys want to go for? We need at least like two or three votes. Do we have any more votes? Because <laughs> if Elnath is the only one, okay, one. Okay, thank you, Clemence. Thank you for voting. Elnath, are you the one abusing the heart emojis again? I, I still have a low-key PTSD from all those honking noises when we played Gardic. <laughs> okay, black coffee, guys. I think black coffee fits, fits our rich daddy, edgy personality. Oh, oh, that was a good choice. In-game illness seems to like it. A classic. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. God speed you. Black Emperor is a really amazing and official progressive rock band known for their sweeping sound caves. Soundscapes, then. <laughs> no, it's fine, Elnith. We like you just the way you are. It's all good. I'm doing the thing again. Yes, Matt. Yes, Elnath, you're rambling again in game. Hmm. But coming right up. Hmm. And for you. I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Uh, medium. Ah. What is biggie smalls, big or small? Uh... I think I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sets to make our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. Then who's heart emoting Elvis? What's his deal? Let the man make his puns, they're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey. Hey. Ska was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfy in our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support, you sink right into it. Okay, it's comfy in our couch. Amanda nudges me. Huh. 
This place is right next to our house and that seems... That guy seems not only cool but also just as uncomfortable with talking to people as you are. Okay, so Matt and us have a common point. <laughs> and I... What on earth is going on? I wake up and the first thing I read is that Elnath is a masochist. Hanai, darling. Uh, I think, um, Clemence, if you're still, anyone's still here, I think y'all should know Elnath is, in fact, a masochist. So, guys, yes, Elnath identifies as a masochist. Uh, now that we all know, we've learned new things about Elnath today. <laughs> Elnath is, um, is, a uh, officially, officially, um, oh my god, I am losing my English. What is English? I'm losing my vocabulary. Holy shizzle. Okay, well, anyways. Elnath is a certified M, guys. If anyone wants to uh, come out with their inner masochism, uh, now is the time to uh, associate yourself to the, the M association. Oh, Cesar, weird thing to come back, but okay. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, either you're a masochist, you're a sadistic person, all is good, guys, you know. Uh, Complimentary to each their own. Elnath, I'm not bullying you. I'm just saying, I'm just stating facts, bro. Like, at this point, it's not bullying. I'm not bullying you if it's true, okay? I am just like, it's like if I was reading your wiki, your wiki, like, fact page, okay? Elnath's wiki fact page, you got all the profile information. First, status, unsay so, okay? Blood type, unsay so. And then it's like, I don't know, um, Whatever, uh, main adjective, um, masochistic, okay? It's your wiki, it's your wiki fact page, Elnath. I'm not bullying you, I'm just giving the facts to people so all of us can know you better. Elnath, that would be my first impression. Hey, I mean, uh... <clears throat> Anyways, you should totally become friends with him. Nah. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks, Elvis, for the 666 subs. <laughs> Spe Thank you, Hanai. That's the word I was looking for, species. <laughs> Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. Okay, guys, I think uh, we can see that Daddy Tukaza also doesn't really like going out to touch grass. So, um, there, another common point. <laughs> see, we're making progress. Matt sets out our drinks down on our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Oh, burn the roof with your mouth. Oof. A good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda. This is my dad. Oh my god, guys. This is my dad? Daddy. <laughs> oh lord. So from now on, Amanda's gonna present to us to every daddy. This is my dad. Daddy. <laughs> oh well. I guess uh, we're, we're stuck with this type of presentation, guys. It's always gonna be, this is my dad. Call daddy. <laughs> Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter is hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh. A fr <laughs> oh my god, did I just say a fresh? I am, guys, I am cringing at my speech impediment debuff right now. Like, first, I don't say votes, I say voids. I don't say fresh, I said fresh. I don't know what, like, accent my subconscious is trying to make me speak into today, but, um, yeah. Low-key just cringe at myself. With a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hmm. Cesar, that's not the only thing burning your mouth if they ever end up together. Huh. 
Okay, Cesar, I think uh, today, as Elna said, the, the unsay so pretty much was uh, handed over to you. Uh, Cesar, uh, take the wheels. Fresh, you're seriously. <laughs> Made English is not good. Yo, <laughs> seriously. Hey, 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 10 on 10 voice line. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name. Oh, banana bread, that's good. <laughs> Frey Shavoka. <laughs> Insert for you a Toby Swim Club opening. <laughs> Yo, seriously. Well, I, I think we're gonna have a taste it. Oh my god, taste, taste. Oh lord, I cannot taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know. And really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. <laughs> yeah, we need to give that Nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be commensurate with... Uh, I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. Oh damn, the father-daughter duo will be training for that uh, free sample. Okay, Cesar, I think deep down where we're all unsayso here is just, uh, you know, some days we reel in the unsayso, some days the unsayso just kind of goes full out. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Matt serves us each a piece, and Meta and I happily chow down. This is amazing! Thanks, the secret ingredient is bananas. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, guys, voting time. Banana bread Kennedy's. Grateful banana bread or right said banana bread. She committing tax fraud with her dad in game. <laughs> the angel on my shoulder is on vacation. Bro, are you sure you didn't just like bamboozle the angel with the devil instead? Was wasn't there like some uh, voluntary uh, accomplice in there to uh, send the angel on vacation? Number two, grateful bread, banana bread. So guys, I will be waiting for your votes. One, two, or three. Okay. Oh, uh, what is the difference, Hanai? Um, I think they're just like puns, but um. I personally don't know these puns, so uh, I guess at this point, um, yeah. <laughs> oh wait, guys! I think if we take the right, like, name, it's also gonna have, like, it's gonna impact our relationship with a mat. So yeah, we can't just randomly pick. We have to pick the one. If we want to go for this dude, we have to pick the one that makes sense to him. It's like the Grateful Dead, but it's the Grateful Bird. Oh, okay. Thanks, Draconic, for mentioning that, actually. I take a shot at that Kennedy's. Yeah, I was actually... Okay, the only reason I was gonna pick Kennedy's is that it made me think of Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. And that Leon Kennedy is kind of good looking, so I was like, you know what, might as well just take banana bread Kennedy's. <laughs> For the first time, puns are making me cry. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not bread yet. Uh, hey, wait, let me roll. Okay, fine. Okay, Hana is gonna. Do you want to go for the male Elna with tattoos? Is the question. It is indeed the question. Take the floor, Tsukasa. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm just gonna wait for Hanai to tell to tell us what they got with their pencil roll. And uh, yeah, if if it's a tie, I'ma just pick. I'ma just go for it. So Hanai, what is your pencil? Okay, number two. Okay, so uh, we got one for number one, two for number two. Elness, Elness, number one and number two, Elness. Because I 
because Elnus is like number one or two. And then Cesar is one. And then you and Draconic it's two. Two? Okay, fine. Two on then. Grateful banana bread. <laughs> Guys! We effed up! The guy did not like the pun. The the tattoo daddy did not enjoy that pun. Literally black sparkles came out. Like the jam rock band founded by Jerry Garcia. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Oh. Yeah. Grateful banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. He committed squid ink. Hey. Oh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. See, it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. <laughs> we are too young for the boomer jokes. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, Cesar, that, that's what you meant by hey, hey, hey. I didn't get it at the beginning. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, we're too. I should get back to unpacking. Let's get some fresh air. I need a nap. Guys. I think we need a nap. After all this interaction, after all the social interaction, like, I would need a nap. Actually, I would need to sleep till the next day at this point. So guys, one, two, or three. Do you want to be unpacking? Do you want to touch some grass? Or do you want to take a nap? <laughs> okay, fair enough, Draconicus. We, we just drank some coffee, but um... I mean, you know... What was the point of the coffee? Hey guys, no judging, okay? Some people drink coffee just to drink it like water. Like at some point, coffee does not work on you anymore, so you need a nap. I lost the doggos only for you to sleep. <laughs> to commit toilet, fair enough, Elna. That's true, to commit toilet. Okay, we got two number twos, uh, two number ones, one number two. Okay, fine, I would go also for number two. So we need a we need a deal breaker here. We need someone else to vote for number one or number two in here. We got two number ones. I'm with Elna for number two. And um anyone in here? Hanai, Clemence, Shinka. We need a deal breaker, por favor. Oh hey Marseille. Nice to meet you. How are you? Okay, well, uh, Marseille just killed the tie for us. We're going to get some fresh air, guys. We're going to touch some grass. Time to soak up all the vitamin D. Makes our bones nice and strong. <laughs> Lol. Can I get a, a, a number one with a number two a g combo and a super size of fries? Uh, I'll take a milkshake with this. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna get so strong, they're gonna hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Amanda, I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton would one day escape this flesh sack and run amok. Please don't encourage it. Right, sorry. Uh, to the park! Oh, isn't it like that meme? Like, to the salon, but now it's like, to the park! That number three, you can't beat the whammy bar. 
Amanda and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. Oh, barbecue. If it's Korean barbecue, I'm in, guys. We're going to the Korean barbecue. This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroller over there? Government operative. Hm. We're on to you, baby. Ah. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda stops a nice empty branch. Spots, not stops. Spots. Tsukasa, focus, please. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Ow! Frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Okay, guys. Small story. Talking about a frisbee hitting Tsukasa on the face. I think I talked about this before, but like two times in my life so far, I had my like badminton partner hit me in the face with the racket. Like full on smashing the racket into my face. And there was even like the, the, the string like traces on my cheek. So um, I guess me and Tsukasa have a, a lot of points in common. We're both introverted or socially awkward. Um, don't like Don't like awkward interactions. And we both got hit in the face by some kind of thing. Ruff. A Koryu with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. So guys, we got three options. Hello, did you throw this thing on my head? I like your necktie. So guys, a voting time. Is it a uno, a dos, or a trace? Oh, it was by accident, Draconic. Like, I, we were playing in doubles, and then they were, like, about to hit the... The, the thingy-ma-bobber that you throw in the air when you play badminton, but, yeah, they ended up um, smashing me in the face instead. I always bash myself with a badminton racket because I'd forget which way to swing front and back. Oof. Okay, number three, number three. Do we got any more number threes in this auction today? Going once. Going twice. Going thrice. And sold. Number three. Ruff. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Oh, again? Okay, guys. Can I help you? A part upon me your wisdom. Tiny dog. Pet the dog. So guys, is it number uno, number dos, or number trace once again? Y'all got 10 seconds to vote. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. We got number twos, number twos. Pet, okay, Draconic, number three. Number, okay, Marseille, number two. Elnath, number three. Okay, we got Draconic, number, okay, so we got two number threes and three number twos. I actually like number two also, so, eh -heh. Number two, guys. Number, is it number two? Yeah, number two. We're fur. Oh my god, again? Okay, guys, we're, we're voting again. How long do I have left? How did you know? Do you have tomorrow's lottery numbers? Once again, guys, I will need the voting. I'm going, I'm going to vote for number one. Hey, hey, how long do I have left? Sounds like a pretty um, important question. So... Pull in your votes, guys. Is it a number one, a number two, or a number three? Number one. Okay, Cesar and I are both number ones. Number two for Hanai. Number two for Elnath. Number oh, okay. Three number twos, two number ones. Marseille, darling, do you want to vote?
All right, so number one. Oh, okay. So we got three number ones and three. Okay, I'm gonna toss a coin, guys. Where? Uh, do I got a coin? Do I got a coin? Uh, I got a guitar pick. Good enough, right? Okay, so um, I mean, face is gonna be one, and uh, no face is gonna be two. Okay, it's face, so we're gonna go with how long do I have left? What's that? I'm already too late. My fate was predetermined for me long ago. I have no real agency in this cruel lifetime. Ruff, ruff. You're right. I am the master of my domain, for fate is unknowable. Thank you, wise dog. Ruff. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your with your hands, not your face. Okay, option one. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. Number two, it's a new technique. Number three, I'll catch it with my teeth next time. Yeah, I want number one. Uh, let's be sassy, guys. Let's be the... Well, traditionally, not supposed to aim for people's heads. I think that's pretty solid of a response, guys. Hey, yo, it's my old boss. Okay, Draconic wants to catch up with them teeth. I want to sass this guy. N number three sounds kinky. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, Hanai and I both number one. We want to sass the guy. Can someone vote and break the tie? Yay, Marseille wants to sass the guy. What about you, Elness? Are we sassing your old boss? Oh. Alrighties. But I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm, <laughs> I'm daddy. And this is my daughter, Amanda. Oh lord, I'm daddy. Oh lord, that's cringy. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Oh. Hi. Oh. Your dog's cool. Ah, uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see that her father and daughter are out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her hand. She puts it down and heads over to us. Yeah. This is Daisy. She's reading the brother is Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. Oh damn, his daughter is a genius, guys. We got a 10 sigh. How old is she? <laughs> 10. She's a precocious little youngster. Hey. Whoa! Oh. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Yo, is this an Asian parent battle where like parents just compare like their own kids like achievements? This is a child competition skills battle. Oh no, what's happening? Oh lord, a Pokemon battle? Go on Daisy, tell them about yourself. Daisy. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. Daddy's HP, 80. Brian's HP, 80. <laughs> What's DHTR? Does anyone know what DHTR is? I'm kind of curious, what's item? What, is, what do we even have? Can, can we catch? <laughs> Suddenly the game changes. Yeah, I'm confused since when was this Pokemon? <laughs> um, I, I guess we can brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations! Brian loses 10 HP. 
Brian and Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Oh shh, 15 HP. Oh, the HTR to switch daughters, what the hell? <gasps> oh! The HTR to switch daughters, that was so funny. Great card, child art. Spelling me photo. Um... Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amena winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations Amena, Daisy is getting prepped for an annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Oh, yikes. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Oh. Damn, we're, we're getting wrecked. Oh lord. What's child art? You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopomia. I, I meant I did in the first grade. Cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda generally appreciates you holding on to it. Oh, okay, we regain 20 HP. Not bad, not bad, guys. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize a canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. Oh, oh, oh. My bad, guys. I clicked on the wrong thing. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Oh, yes. This is why, guys, you gotta help them people. Did I mention Daisy said her first would at 10 months? Daddy? Amanda's was potty. Still cute. But maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. Oh, okay, it's a tie, it's a tie. <laughs> Cesar, oh no, oh yeah, oh no. Ah, uh, great card. You pull a wrinkled copy of Mena's last great card out of your back pocket. Amena, dad. Awesome greets, Brian loses 25 HP, oh! Right, you really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it is kind of weird. You lose 5 HP, hey! Daisy here has all of her adult teeth, never had a cavity either. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra powerful, you lose 20 HP. Oh, it's a tie, it's a tie. Oh lord. Um, you know what, let's just brag. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Just 10? Oh really, I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Even Amanda- Oh, oh. Dang, he's really got us beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. I didn't even have to add insult to injury about being such a gracious winner. Damn. That was, um, that was brutal, guys. That was brutal. But hey, uh, we, we almost won, okay? So, like, hey, hey. So, I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. Oh, we just moved in. Do you live around here? Uh. Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. <laughs> what a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house, it's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. 
Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell, happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Hmm. Trying and succeeding! I can't believe that kid's only 10! What was I even doing at her age? Yo guys, seriously, like sometimes I see like young people nowadays, I'm like, what was I even doing at my age? I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that I didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative store horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. <laughs> too close to the truth, Dad. Dad. Let us never speak about of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave. An epic in seven parts by Amanda Tsukasa. Oh no, Tsukasa is like actually the last name now. So uh, yeah, we're stuck with the first name daddy uh, forever. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> Yo, seriously. We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Okay guys, so now literally we have to decide, do we unpack or do we take a nap? Do you guys feel tired yet after all this Pokemon battle, or do you still want to be productive and unpack? Voting, one or two, one or two, the auction begins now guys, you got 10 seconds to reel in the votes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Okay, we got one. Okay, we got maybe two. Never got, never gonna recover from this. You know what, Cesar? The importance is winning the real important battles. Okay, not the side battles where we're trying to up each other in a toxic way. So um, I'll take that loss with grace. Marseille votes for one. We got two for one and one for two. Do we have any more participants in this auction? <laughs> Yo, Cesar, you found your accomplice now. You got Marseille. Number one going once. Number two, uh, number one going twice. Number one going thrice, and we've got a deal. We're going with number one. We're gonna go and pack. We should head home. I'm gonna need four hours minimum to figure out how to build my new bed, and I like to not have to sleep on the floor tonight. Don't skip the corners. I get to work on packing the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass, and I get some good work done. The washer-dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk to the living room without tripping over boxes. If we unpack, we might meet another potential candidate. Fair enough. Well, what if we napped, Cesar? Hey, maybe if we napped, we could have cuddled, okay? Maybe we could have cuddled with another candidate. Okay, this is why I wanted to nap. <laughs> but oh well. I guess we'll cuddle next time. First visitor already? Yo, my, my social exhaustion. Yo, first we go to a cafe. We go to a park, we talk to another newbie, and now we gotta meet someone else, yo. My social meter would be like in a negative by now. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello? Oh, oh no, it's Ken. <laughs> it's Ken with the pink polo. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. <laughs> Yo, is this is this is this Jeppard? Is this Loki Jeppard? Can we call him um, A O Jeppard, alternate universe Jeppard? If Jeppard was not a knight, this is what he would be. <laughs> Jeppard would be wearing a pink polo. Hell, oh. <laughs> Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh yes, hi. I'm Daddy. Oh my God, I still, I, I still can't say I'm Daddy without cringing. I'm Daddy. That that's what my name is. Okay, I love that we're precising that Daddy is what our name is. This is 
<laughs> Yo, same Marseille, same. <laughs> I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My, my daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Hey, isn't there like a brand of chocolate chip cookies called like Mrs. Christy or something? Anyways. Joseph leaves in and whispers. <laughs> but between you and me, she, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Hey, 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 ha, 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 ho, ho, ho. Kids, right? Hey. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph sends her the pants her the plate of cookies with a smile. Ah. Oh. Yes, Joseph. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies. <laughs> Amanda disappears with the cookies. Uh. Amanda, come. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. My brother is giving me a concerned look. Why, Hanae? Doste, doste. Why is your why is your uh, brother giving you a concerned look? Daddy was born that way. <laughs> yes, uh, ASMR. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to raise more than two. Yeah. I have four kids. What? have you done okay i'm sorry guys okay guys i'm sorry we're not getting with ken okay like if we get with ken we're gonna have four more kids to look after i am not gonna live that like slave daddy life like no 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 we're, we're not gonna imagine four more kids to look after like are you crazy like tuition like taxes like roof like hobbies activities extracurricular I don't know, all those fees and like... I'm sorry. I, I cannot live with a man that has four kids. Alright, Marseille. Take care, darling. We'll see you next time. It was so nice to see you. Come have fun with us next time too. <laughs> but, 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 voice. Oh, uh, I, I meant... Don't worry, you don't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. I need to grab those earphones, lols. Hanai, he's looking at me like that because of the five letter D word. That just means he got the talent to please the wife to make more of bro. <clears throat> Yo, is it because Joseph looked like he would be an S, Elnath? Is that why? Uh, yeah, okay. Is the missus around? Mister, actually. And, uh, no, not anymore. He, he died. Okay, guys, so, um, our husband died. It's canon now. Uh, he, he really did die. Our husband did die. Our, our Omega died, guys. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> puts the hand on the heart. Uh. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's alright. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there for quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Huh? I'm sorry, can you close the door quickly? I look at Joseph quizzically but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Uh, what the hell? Our husband on Isikai, yeah, yeah. Yo, Cesar. <laughs> oh my god, does Joseph just like kind of do like a take two? Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac and I love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What you say, pal? Damn, is, is he trying to smooth things out? That's really oh. sussy. That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Yeah. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. 
Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can be easy if you ever need to talk about stuff. I'm in the youth minister at church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I, I really... I wouldn't really consider myself a, a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Oh, damn, Joseph be winking at us. Elneth, he, he just winked at us. And with that, Joseph is gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you've already, you're already fitting in great. Where'd these cookies go? Mm. They're gone. I'm sorry. Yes. Makes you feel any better? They they weren't very good. Oh damn. So you ate all of them anyway? Eh. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Oh, there's only one option. Okay, Joseph probably wants his plate back, guys. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. We're gonna be the rest. We're gonna be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts with kindness. Amanda and I step outside. Yo, Elnath is thirsty. Like they be like parched. Okay, like they full on need a uh, yeah yeah. They're like. Huh. <laughs> Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Just look for the house that's pink. Hmm. I'd hazard a guess it's the pink one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. <laughs> and remember, we need to make a pretty good first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Hey guys, is your dad around? Okay guys, I'm sorry. I am sorry, but do you see those kids? Like, especially the twins. They looked kind of... You know, they look like something special was in those cookies. I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but yeah, the, those cookies that they ate looks like they were had a special ingredient, low-key. Yeah. I don't know if it was a special brand of sugar or a special brand of a, a baking powder, but those kids looked... Those kids look a bit, um... Out of their element, if I can say it that way. <laughs> they all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to, uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. Ah. They were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. I chuckle nervously. Mm. Well, okay, we're, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly. Right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. Yo, oh. those kids are freaky, man. I need something to get my mind off of those carbon copy kids. Yo, we are not getting together with this Ken guy, okay? Like, those kids are gonna be the, the death of us in this game. Yo, those twins look possessed. We need holy water, guys. Okay, well now the only option left is taking a nap. Hmm. You've been awake for what, three hours? And that's three hours too many. <clears throat> As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Yo, Elness, I'm sorry, I don't care how, like... How nice of a voice Ken has, but those kids are like a deal breaker for me. 
Daddy, bro. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Oh, we got the we got the gym bro with daddy now. Craig? Mm -hmm. Bro. Bro. Oh. Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Mm -hmm. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you you look great. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Okay, sleep well, Draconic. See you next time, homie. <laughs> Love, baby. Oh, well. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big yeah. now. Hello and hello, cute baby. Aw, oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny waist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Oh. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashly, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, damn. Oh, dude. I I'm so sorry. Nice. It's all news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's, it's all cop copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Mm -hmm. Ain't life something, bro, right? Kex Dan Craig is a father of three. Mm -hmm. Kex Dan Craig? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Mm -hmm. Yo, Ashley was the smashing machine. It's that thing where you do a handset on a keg and then drink from the keg. Oh. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, mm. uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really got to keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily, I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me in it sometime. Uh, uh, I don't know. Nice. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast hours afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the old days. Alright, sure. Sounds great. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, but puts his earbuds back and jogs off. Yo, Craig is gonna get us back in shape, guys. Uh, I mean, we already got abs, but we're about to get the six packs. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm really. Mm -hmm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including any, especially himself. One time, I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Oh. Okay, marinara sauce is good, but an entire jar? Amanda. He opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing. And he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Hmm. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. We gotta get bigger pop-up pillows. <laughs> Yo, I want to sleep on the man boobs, okay? The man boobs look like the perfect place to nap. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Stomach of steel. 
Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. Oh, are they moving again? No, don't say hmm. that. Oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. Oh, our daughter's moving away for school. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird on having you around. I'll come visit and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously I'm a photography major. You promise? Huh. Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll get a dog or something. All right. A dog? Hey. Forget our school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Ah. Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a, woman of, I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Yes, adulting. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides to the mail slot. Speaking of college... Amanda darts over the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back onto the yes. floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. Mm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Huh. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Hmm. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Mm -hmm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh... The admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. We... <sighs> Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Oh. <sighs> Counter-argument, cat. Yeah, I like cats too. Amanda throws a letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Mm. It's okay, I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits of whatever. <laughs> Lol, Cesar, it was like a portfolio full of like, horse pictures. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. So mother school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I know. It's it's fine. Are you actually fine or just are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Aww. So You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. <sighs> I would choose a more delicate phrasing, but... Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Ah. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick think of plans. Okay guys, we got three options again. Option one, I am secretly the mayor of this town. Option two, gotta attend the union meeting. Option three, I'm going clubbing. So guys, what are we going for? Okay, so keep in mind that we will be meeting a new like potential candidate. So we got to keep those options in mind. Oh lord, this is Drinky, let's get drunk. Fine. I guess we can go. Uh, if no one else in chat has any uh, preferences, I guess uh, we'll go with... Okay, going clubbing. If there's anyone else in here who wants to vote, you got five seconds. I'm taking in votes. Five, four, three, two... Oh no. Anyone? Number three going once. Number three going twice. Number three going thrice. And number three it is sold. 
I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves, the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man, you know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. So we had my, we did, we did number three. Well, we'll take number two if it comes back. Hmm. All right, but I'm gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Oh, sorry, not I'm gonna. I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. Oh, Lord. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Oh, he's kidding. We're kidding. Okay, guys, so it was a lie. We're not clubbing. We're not, we're not clubbing, guys. Okay, so what do you want? Go to bed or go out and watch the game? Okay, guys, so... Uh, Hanae, you get a redemption arc? Is this an auction? Hey, I mean, whatever gets this uh, streaming to be a bit more fun, right, Clemons? So, guys, do we go to bed? Or do we go out and watch the game? Yeah, sorry, Elnus. Uh, it, it was just to act cool, but we're, we're not getting any soju tonight. Um, so, are we gonna go sleep or are we gonna go watch and watch the game? Numero uno or numero dos, <laughs> number one, because I'm... Yo, we can drink in bed if you want. Anyone else want to vote in? Number Okay, Hanai number one, Elna number one. Who else wants to vote for the number one? I'm gonna give five more seconds for the votes to come in. Five, four, three, two, one. Number one going once. Number one going twice. Number one going thrice. And sold! It is number one. <laughs> Screw romance, we sleep in your same. I'm wiped. Have fun with the Emmas. We'll try to keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. And don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, Pops. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Craig. Rise and shine, early birds. Still want to work out? This is Craig, by the way. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m.? Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing, I drift back to sleep. Whoops, must have winked back out. I checked my phone again. Hey, bud, still want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. God, the last thing I want to do now is work out. But it is Craig. I do want to catch up. Okay, guys, do we go to sleep or do we go meet our gym bro? Are we rocking the gym bro or are we sleeping? Do we go back to sleep or do we go work out? What do you guys want to do? Is it numero uno or numero dos? Yo, same. I kind of want to go back to sleep. But then we wouldn't meet our gym bro, I guess. I mean, it depends. Do we get to meet a new potential candidate if we go back to sleep? That's my question. <laughs> Ami Mir. We all want to sleep? I'm in the mood to sleep, to be honest. I guess we go to sleep, guys. Let's go back to dreamland.
I shoot a quick text to correct your part for bailing and immediately fall back to sleep. Oh man, how long was I out? What time is it? I look over at the clock. It's 3.55 p.m. Oh lord. I have to be at that parent-teacher conference in five minutes. I jump out of bed, throw on the nearest clothes, and run out to the door. Oh, we're meeting the teacher, guys. I arrive at the men's school and check in the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard, but hopefully nobody will notice. I check my watch and I'm relieved to see that I'm only two minutes late. Wait. Was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom is? Oh, hi! I could make a new friend. The youth turns around and looks me up and down with heavy, lined eyes. Yo, how come we didn't have like this outfit option in the beginning? I want to dress like that. <sighs> come on, kid, I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Okay, wise guy, are you gonna help me or not? Ugh, fine. Up those stairs and to the left. Can't miss him. I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vega's class anywhere. After a couple minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase. <clears throat> okay, Alnessa, I guess you can, but uh, we definitely cannot. Okay, we cannot go for minors. Okay, only daddy. So, um, hey, maybe uh, this guy can become our our daughter's boyfriend. I mean, uh, I kind of he passes in my books for fashion. So, um, that's that. Maybe we can. Uh, <laughs> We can we can tell Amanda to slide into uh, this guy's DMs or something <laughs> in game. Oh damn, Elnus, you found your your clothes stealing uh, soulmate in here. I get back to where that low rent Gerard way is standing, fully ready to give him a piece of my mind. When suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Mm -hmm. Lucian, don't you have a third pier to get to? Fine, Mr. Vega. Ah. Wow. Now I'm officially 10 minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. Um. You must be daddy. This pier is almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Ah. Mr. Vega lends me in and I take a seat in one of those comically small students' desks in the back. I might get stuck in this. If he becomes Amanda's boyfriend, he's got to have a better attitude towards her. Yo, seriously, though, that's, that attitude is, like, eesh. Hmm? Alright, where were we? Now, who can tell me about the unreliable... Oh my god. Tongue twister! Who can tell me about the unreliable... Who can tell me about the unreliability unre of the narrator in J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye? Hmm... Yes, Colin. Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. Hmm. The whole class erupts in laughter. Um. All right, all right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Oh. Now, Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that the bell for the end of the period rings. All of the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. What? Mines of the Harbor? Yo, I want to low-key try to play Valorant, but like, I don't got anyone to play with, so um, yeah, I don't think uh, I'll be playing Valorant anytime soon. But hey, if anyone in Discord plays uh, Valorant, uh, if you don't mind uh, uh, a new uh, person here wanting to experience the game with you guys, um, hit me up, guys. Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. Nobody's listening. What is this mic quality though? It's whack. Hmm. Oh wait, is my mic quality bad, Elness? Like, is my like... Is it my mic that's like bad?
please let me know illness if you're talking about like my mic if like it's my mic that's like having issues or I guess not Mr. Vega turns to me in size hmm middle schoolers right don't you teach high schoolers uh. both you know oh okay in game okay thank you for confirming Right. Uh, Thanks so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. Vega. Oh, Hanai plays Valo. Okay, maybe I'll go. I'll go ask Hanai. <laughs> uh, Please call me Hugo. Uh, I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but um, as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? Uh, Amanda has never been the most engaged student but I know she cares recently though she's been falling behind she's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests I normally chalk this up to senior seniorities but this is strange I thought Amanda always shared everything with me it hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong uh. I just wanted to ask is everything okay at home alrighty Option one, we just moved. Option two, she's fine. Option three, she has a tendency to bottle things up. So, are we saying that we just moved? Are we saying that she's fine? Or are we saying that uh, she's got a bottle inside? I'm thinking maybe... Oh, number one. Okay, we just moved. I was going for maybe number three. But maybe number three would be a... Oh, sh... I don't know if number three would be a bit too personal. If that would be like really... Uh, like uh, revealing a bit too much of a personal aspect to the teacher. So number one might seem a bit more like um, casual, I guess. Number one? Okay. Shall we go for number one then? So we just moved. Well, we just moved recently, but it was only to the other side of town, and Amanda's more excited about this than I was. Hmm? See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. If she keeps heading down this road... Eh. I know how important our school is to her and I would hate her to see her miss out on scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Ah. Anytime. On my way out, I stopped, thinking for a minute. I turned to Hugo. Hey, Hugo. Oh. Yes? They ever cash out, right? Oh. Yes. Oh, damn. We, we got that risk, guys. I leave the classroom and make my way out of school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been such a force of... For, 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 I cannot speak. She's always been such a force for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home and maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. I pull up to the carpool and Amanda hops in the passenger seat. Yeah. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. So, you talked about Mario Batali the whole time? It was a very productive meeting. Uh. You asked them Coco Rose? I'm pretty hungry, can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. We can make something at home? Let's go to the mall food court. Oh, should we go to the mall food court, guys? I'm voting for the mall food. I want some Jolly Bees. Do they have Jolly Bees in here? I'm craving for them Jolly Bee, guys. Should we go to the mall food court for some Jolly Bees? What about it? Should we head for Jolly Bee, guys? I'm down for Jolly Bee at the mall food court. If they have, I'ma take the the mango peach pie. Yeah, okay. Yas. 
Does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Jeez. Can't a dad can't a dad can't a dad take his daughter to the mall? <laughs> yes, the hello hello. Will you buy me things? I will buy you a thing, singular. Sounds like a deal to me. Huh. We drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents, and that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do, and that's okay. But also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective, because you know maybe the parents have also dealt with the similar situations.、Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's good to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter? Huh? What? Never mind. Look, sweetie. Mr. Vega said you haven't been participating. A little long. Cannot speak. Take two. Look, sweetie. Mr. Vega said that you haven't been participating in class. And that you're not turning things in.、Huh. Oh, I'm fine, pops and Eurydice and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vega's class.、Huh. It's fine. He's fine. We pull up to stop. We pull up to a stoplight, and I eye Amanda. She's still texting. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Ugh. Ugh. Uh huh. I can tell whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Ah.、Uh, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Huh? Emma keeps texting. She stifles a laugh. Dang, she's reading your tweets. She knows you. Oh Lord, she knows we don't. Don't. We're finished. What's so funny? Uh, it's uh. I don't think you'd get this. Okay. Who you texting?、Hmm. Noah. Oh, it's a boy. It's a boy, guys. It's a boy. Who's Noah? My friend. Does he go to your school?、Hmm. Yep. Do you like? Noah. Hey. What? No, Dad. Ugh. I can't believe you would. Ugh. Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you? Ugh. Gross. Sorry, sorry. Just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend.、Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Jeez. This is going well. Well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess that conversation is over. To the mall then. Yo, she's going through. She's going through puberty, man. So sassy. That attitude, though. We arrive at the mall, a big indoor shopping center with a couple of different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a small security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner.、Yeah. Hell yeah! Language, Missy.、Mm-hmm. Heck yeah! Better.、Mm-hmm. We approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. Yo, Yuki, sup? My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. Oh lord, maybe there's no Jolly Bees, guys. We're we're stuck with the generic stuff. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese, radioactive orange cheese, from a very un- unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. <gasps> These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious.、Mm-hmm. We have to eat through the pain. We enjoy this fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So,、huh. something's bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to <sighs> me? 
which meme? All, all, all memes. Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all its use have already done the joke to death. Ugh. And what's worse than that is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on a meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out, so it just stays it and isn't funny. Oh shit, what up? Aww. Dad, please. <laughs> anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Wanna go to that goth store? Mm. What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti-establishment despite being an exact representation of the establishment. I don't know what store you're talking about. You know the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s? Mm. Dude, you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. <laughs> oh, it's that one. Yes. Yo, guys, we're, um... Yas, let's get it, guys. We're risen up. Let, let's get, uh, drippin'. Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. <laughs> there it is. You can still see the outline, kinda. I'm so proud. Speech! Amanda. Yes. Speech, 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 speech. All right, I'll do it if you stop chanting. Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. <clears throat> Thank you for all joining us here today to commemorate an historic movement that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda on Tsukasa had too much blue raspberry slushy on an adding to them all. After begging her father to take to her, to her dad, goth and beyond to buy a rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over of my chemical romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. Oh yo, that Lolita outfit's kinda hmm. cute. Amanda has moved, she begins clapping, slow at first, and faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. Yeah. Oh, hey, chain wallets. While Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at in dead goth and beyond. Okay, guys. Options, options. Peruse the band t-shirts. Look at ironic mugs. Mugs. A lot. Oh, oh, lot. Oh lord, not mugs, not lord, mugs and lord, holy shizzle. Check the clearance bin for hot deals. So guys, what is the activity we want to go for today? Do we want to peruse the band t-shirts, look at ironic mugs, or check the clearance bin for hot deals? Check the clearance bin. Elnas, maybe we can find you a, a sale on a, Lolita, on a Lolita outfit for you. In that clearance bin. Okay, we all going for that clearance. I like that, I like that. We like a good seal. So is everyone going for number three? Are we all numero trace, Mina Sam? Going once, going twice, going thrice, and number three it is. There's a big cardboard box of Mark Donaldens. I'm pretty sure four dollars for purple eyeliner is a good idea. Good ideal. Good deal, I think. I wonder if I would look good in purple eyeliner. Hell yes, I would. Look, this is very important to me. Oh, damn, we're meeting the goth daddy, guys. I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored-looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that, don't you know? Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. What? Listen, 
When I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. I see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by a post. Yo, Elness, if this guy had silver hair, white hair, I think you would have gone barking again. Whatever, dude. The man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they are Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. Amanda shuts off to me with a tissue in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh shit, you're cool as a you, yuppity. Uh -huh. Hey, that's Sean 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops this shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll pull up something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Yo, J Dracula is low-key Karen. He's the Karen of the story. Amanda and I sit on the couch, trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh cool, Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Chuckers is on. Your favorite, right? Oh hell yes, they have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice roll melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Huh. Also, the trucks are hunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Caleb and Flint's dog bone, the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no, the ghost done got control of the truck. I can't steer them on their damn ice roads. Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die. <gasps> Almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. That's because we are about to die, you... <laughs> this is art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Caleb and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous ice road accident. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Do it once, do it right. Zzz. Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. You have never ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. Fine. We have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put together a few shelves in one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. <laughs> so, you excited for the cookout today? Excited to beef up my grilling skills? If there's food, I'm excited. Eh. Alright, we're going to the barbecue. So, guys. Are we excited to beef up my grilling skills? Or is if there's food I'm excited? Or are we just like, eh? Is it a one, a two, or a three? So we're going to be flexing our cooking skills. I'm down to flex our cooking skills, actually. If there's food, I'm excited. I kind of want to flex, guys. Let's flex. Wait, that is if we have any cooking skills. But yo, we should flex our superior dad arms while grilling up them beef patties. Or we could start a fire. At our neighbor's house, if if we actually don't have any grilling skills, that that is a 
a possibility that we do end up um, causing a hazard fire. So LNF is one or two, Cesar is number two. You know what? I'm gonna go for number one this time. So uh, let's go for number one. So two number ones and one number two. I'll see if this as a learning opportunity. If I can sneak some hot grill tips, I think we can consider this a success. Hmm. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. Exactly, we couldn't say we had good cooking skills. Hmm. Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. We will get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. Hmm? The social butterfly. Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. What? No. We have to be fashionably be late. Who knows? Who shows up to cook out on time? You know what? We're going early, just because you said that. I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly follows. We walk across the <laughs> cannot talk. We walk across the street to Joseph's house with a store bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. Hmm. Oh yo, that's a fancy backyard. I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and adult chats in small clusters. I set our veggie plate down on the table next to two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph. Oh, we have to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Oh. Welcome, I'm so glad you two are here. And you brought veggies. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my family, kids. Come on over here. This is Chris, oh. my eldest. Hi. This is Christian and Christy. They're twins. Ah. They stare creepily and say nothing. Ah. Then, of course, there's our youngest, Krish. Wait, where is Krish? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. <laughs> oh, and how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Wait, he has a wife. This guy has a wife. Huh? Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. Ah, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Krish to the bed? Ah. I'll have to go look for him. Oh. What? You'll have to... Uh. Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Oh. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Daddy and his daughter, Amanda. Ah. I shake your hand and have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. I love her. Nice to meet you, Mary. Charm. Well, I have to go over there now. Uh, my wife has a wonderful sense of humor, but please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Yo, I don't do these cheating. Like, we are not doing affairs, okay? Like, I will not stoop that low. Here, let me introduce you around. Yeah. This is Robert. He lives just across the way. A haggard man nursing a glass of whiskey eyes me up and down. Oh, Hey. Hey, I'm Daddy. It's nice to meet you. He takes a long swig of his drink. Charmed. Oh. Daddy and his daughter just moved in next door. Cool. If you ever need recommendations on where to get a drink in this town, Rob's your man. I told you not to call me Rob. You're McDonald. Right, got it. Robert ambles away without saying goodbye. I don't know, the Robert guy kind of gives me like Red flags. Hmm? He's not a really people person. Wow, I think I've actually met everybody else. Oh. Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Amanda and I mill around and try some of the food spread out on the table. I pick at some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it up with baked goods. Drinky time. Maybe we can uh, get some shots of soju. Shots of soju. Oh my goodness. Ugh, I don't want to have to make friends. <gasps> Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? <laughs> Robert and Dracula me one dies. But I don't want to have to do with pleasantries. Huh. Dad. Ugh. They're going to talk about the weather. Go do it. Make a friend. 
But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. This plate of cookies is new, Dad. Bye. Amanda shows me the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that illness? The barista from the coffee spoon? <laughs> Mel illness? What a cool guy and mysterious. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Isn't that the guy who was throwing a fit in dead goth and beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. But wait a second, all of these people live in their cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Okay, guys. It is time to pick our poison. Do we talk to Robert and Brian? Do we talk to Matt, Hugo, and Craig? So just to recap, Robert is the drunk guy. Uh, Brian is uh, the guy who was like uh, flexing his daughter. Matt is uh, Elnath as a male. Hugo is a teacher. Craig is the gym bro. Joseph is Ken. And Damien is uh, the gothic Karen. Who would you like to talk to or should we just have some burger time? I'm all ears. Or all eyes in this case. Go with whatever Tucson wants. I mean, I feel the wholesome, the wholesome group. <laughs> but you do. Okay, fine. Give me all the risk. Okay, look. I think that like... I would take either two or three. Because number two is like the wholesome group. Like Matt, Hugo, and Craig, I feel are like the, mo the more wholesome people. And then Joseph and Damien are like... Kind of like the the more unique people, if I can say it that way. I'm not too down for Robert, and like Robert just gives me like red flags and bad vibes, and Brian like still sour from all um his competitiveness. So yeah, so I would go for two or three. Maybe I would go for. <sighs> we haven't talked to Damien yet. We have talked to Matt, Hugo, and Craig. We haven't talked to Damien yet. So maybe I would go for three. I, I'm actually really curious on how, like, the goth and the Barbie talk together. I spot Joseph chatting with the guy from Dead, Goth, and Beyond by the Grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I want to walk over to them. So I'm curious. Can you walk me through while you had your house painted black? Huh. Where do I even start? The house stays warm in the winter. It provides an artistic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood. And it complements the crimson interior perfectly. Yeah. It's definitely an interesting choice. Thank you. I'm very proud of my abode. Daddy, I was just having a conversation with Damien about his... Aesthetic design decisions. Damien regards me up and down with a warm but critical eye. How do you do? I don't believe I had the pleasure. Yo, sir, I kind of sh actually I ship Ken and Damien together. I kind of ship Barbie Daddy and Gothic Daddy together. I think I saw you in Dead Goth and Beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. I must apologize for my behavior on that day. You see, I take the Goth lifestyle very seriously. And to be caught in a ruse by such a corporation as Death, Goth, and Beyond is profoundly frustrating indeed. Huh. I hope you know that while my anger may have been justified, it was no such way for a gentleman to act. It's okay, man. Uh. Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my daughter and I just moved in the other day. She was, she was the one I took to Death, God, and Beyond. Yo, he is vibe checking us. Very good taste on her part. Does she partake in the goth lifestyle? I think for a second, I look over at Amanda, who's hanging out with some of the other older kids in the neighborhood. Why? Hey, Amanda, would you consider yourself goth? Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any one specific label, but I guess if I had to choose, I would more describe myself as twee hipster with some norm leadings. Bats are cool, though. Hmm. 
Ah, pity.、Oh. Are you enjoying the party so far? Oh, definitely. Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be able. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Yeah, channel、oh. man. Amanda walks up to the conversation. I also like Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as a goth?、Oh. That would be, my dear. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Damien Bloodmarch at your service. Damn, even his like family name is like kind of a gothy. Damien finishes the sentence with a flourish and a bow, producing a single rose and offering it to Amanda. Oh. Amanda blushes and returns the gestures with a curtsy. My, do you know how to treat a lady?、Oh. Hello, Amanda. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twin kids appear.、Uh. Oh, really? IRL Doria. What? H- hey, won't you come play with、huh? us? Uh, come play with us forever. Oh, yo, are they possessed? <laughs> Guys, enough with the creepy twin shtick. We've talked about、oh. this. Christian and Christy slowly back away. Law, Elvis going unhinged again. Where do you think they got that from?、Hmm. Mary pops into the conversation, wine in hand. <sighs> I、uh, don't know. Mary takes a long sip of the wine. <clears throat> I think I might have taped over a Veggie Tales VHS with The Shining. Who knows? She takes another sip of her wine.、Uh-huh. Where's Krish? Come on. Wasn't he with you?、Yeah. You had him a moment、hmm. ago. He's probably stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be all right. Toddlers are pretty resilient. Mary tips her glass to me.、Mm. Ain't my first time to the rodeo. Get a priest. I don't think that's an act anymore. <laughs> It's my fourth. I have squeezed four little.、Oh. Sweetheart, would you do me a favor and please find Krish? That would be great.、Mm. I'm sure he's fine.、Oh. Mary.、Ah. Okay, jeez. Mary finishes the one and wanders off. There's something a bit off about this couple. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yo, Lucian is is Dracula's son. Dad, can we go now? Huh. Oh, Lucian, have I introduced you to Daddy yet? Hey, is that punk from Amanda School? I remember you. <laughs> Whatever.、Hmm. That's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite, Lucian bows. <sighs> Whatever, Lucian bows again. Mister Christiansen, may I have a? Oh, lol. Sorry, I thought he was gonna be like telling on his son. My bad, Mister Christiansen. May I have a veggie burger, sir? <laughs> Coming right up, bud. Are you vegetarian? Yeah, it's him. So if we get together with、uh, the Dracula dad, we're stuck with a punk with no manners. <laughs> yup. Make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victorian era were vegetarians? They described carnivorous type people as blood lappers. Dad.、Hey? That's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to the grill. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Whoa, is that a tattoo? Yup, I wasn't always a youth paster, you know. That's so cool. Want to see mine? What? What? Lucian pulls back some rubber bracelets, revealing a lopsided six 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 in the black ink. Yo, did Lucian like tattoo my subscriber number on his on his arm? Yo. He's a hardcore man. He's a hardcore subscriber. He tattooed a, the subscriber count onto his wrist. Fair enough, Elnas. But still, it's like Damien's son. So he probably wants us to like get along with Lucian. My buddy gave me a stick and poked it too last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Lucian, <laughs> I guess we're going for the goth daddy. We'll talk about this later.、Oh. It's pretty cool. What's the significance of the tattoo? 
I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. Oh. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, though. That number carries weight. Man. Joseph is way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figured youth pastors popped out of the womb with a Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. Oh, I think we get to talk with everyone. Okay, let's talk to Matt, Hugo, and Craig then. Oh. Oh, damn. We got the wholesome trio. Matt, Hugo seem to be in an intense discussion. Craig looks on smiling politely. I walk over to say hello. Well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare two art movements like that. Periods in art only exist because they're a unique byproduct of the social and political climate of a time and place. And try to take something like, say, the Rococo period and compare it to a postmodern modernism in America. You're completely disregarding the context in which a work of art is created. Matt and Hugo seem to be so busy that they don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. I guess we can talk to Craig because we like kind of ignored him once. I turn my attention to Craig who seems a little more attentive to my existence. How would resistance training go the other day? Great. Little River here is a great cheerleader, ain't you tiny bro? Craig grabs River's arms and waves him around. You can do it dad, I'm so proud of you, I'm sorry for pooping on you. She must be a handful at that age. We got a purple pussy alone and a weird food crime guy, yep. Oh, they always are. But it's so worth it. Craig grabs River's arm again and weighs him around. Also, I'm sorry for throwing up on you, Dad. How you selling in? Exactly. Nerds need to battle it out to get it out of their system. Almost done. The new place is perfect. I never get too comfortable. So guys, option one, almost done. Option two, the new place is perfect. Option three, I never get too comfortable. So, which option do you guys want to go for? The auction is now open. Almost done? Okay. Okay, I'm done for one. Let's go then. Number one, going once, going twice, going thrice, and sold. There's still a few odds and ends to take care of before I can really call myself settled. But I think we can upgrade the situation to livable. We did livable throughout the entirety of college. Yeah, my goal was for Amanda to live the sort of life that didn't involve eating spoonfuls of friends, dressing at a palance, as a palate cleanser, oh, between different types of pizza. She still does, though. Hey, she takes after her dad. Daddy, how are you liking the neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Seems like your daughter is fitting in just fine. Matt points across a yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing. They're all sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and weaving them into little flower crowns. It's pretty adorable. The girl I don't recognize to jog. The girl I don't recognize jogs over to us. What is it, sweetheart? It's a flower crown. I thought you'd look cute in it. Well, there's only one way to find out. Matt takes a flower crown and places it on top of his head. Aw, that's so cute. That's so wholesome, guys. Yo, that's so wholesome. The girl stares at him, thinking it over. Mm, nope. But you're slightly less cool than you were before you put it on. Hey. Ha. Hey, Daddy, this is my daughter. Hello. I'm Carmen Sata. Huh. Amanda comes over with Daisy and Tao. Dad, look, I'm making friends. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. Yeah, actually, Amanda, you remember the cool barista from the coffee shop and my old college friend and, uh, your teacher? Ah. Oh, hi, Mr. Vega. I didn't realize we were neighbors. Oh. Yep. You still gonna get me that overdue term paper? Ah, uh, great seeing you. Amanda finger guns her way out of the conversation like a champ. She learned the finger guns removed from me. I'm very proud. Mm -hmm. She's definitely a charmer. Speaking
Speaking of which, where did my son go? What? Hugo looks around the party. Yo, but yo, that but that flower crown is so cute. He must finally spot him because his eyes go what? white. Ernest, Ernest Hemingway. Oh my God, did he seriously name his son with an author's name, bro? Ernest Hemingway Vega, are you smoking? Ah. Ernest is holding a lit cigarette. Nope. I see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long drag of his cigarette and then flicks it into a gutter. Hmm. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Hugo marches over to Ernest and I turn my attention to Madden Craig. Kids, right? Hey, yeah. Man, I do not envy Hugo. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants. Nearly burned down half the yard. Hmm. And the barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half of the yard. And then it spread out to my lawn and burned down half of my yard too. Oh, sh... Uh. Hey, that's quite the Ernest naming convention. Hugo walks back over to us, patently dragging Ernest behind him. Hmm. Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. Daddy, this is my son, Ernest. Hello. Ernest looks away, sulking, his hands shoved deep in his pockets. Hugo nudges him impatiently. Hey. Nice to meet you, Ernest. What grid are you in? Doesn't matter. Oh. Ernest. Okay, okay, I'm in 8th grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. Uh, yeah, good for you. Hmm. Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for failing the economy. Ouch. I don't know. Ernest. Oh yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. Ernest puts earbuds in and storms off to stand in the corner. Well, that was... That was certainly something. He seems nice. Hugo puts his head in his hand and sighs. Hey, Ollie! You woke up! Nice seeing you on a Sunday stream. Oh. I'm so sorry, he's having a really rough time. As much as I want to be the cool dad, I have to be the I have to be the authoritarian dad and he clearly resents me for it. I mean I think as a dad and a teacher that's about as authoritarian as you can get. Honestly, are any of us cool dads? It is is it even possible to be a cool dad? What? I'm as cool as a cucumber. See, that right there, you can't say that. My kids think I'm cool. Yes, today it's a bit longer because we're playing this Dream Daddy game. But um, I'll probably like end stream like soon because I'm uh, low key getting tired. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be. We're still gonna be streaming for a bit. But for how long, Craig? How long do we get to be the cool dads? I. I, uh, don't know. Oh. It's called Dream Daddy. So we, uh, we kind of... We're, we're choosing options, going through, like, uh, scenarios to go for the daddy we want to. Yep, creating relationships. Uh, you missed, um... Yeah, some very interesting parts. I think we just have to accept the fact that as dads, we've become the machine we once raged against and accept our fate to unironically wear socks with sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed. Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool. I yell across the yard to my daughter. Oh my god, I literally just butchered that. I yell across the yard to my daughter. Amanda, I'm cool, right? Amanda just laughs. She keeps laughing. I see your point. Um. <laughs> oh my god, Elna behaves. As much as we all want it, I don't think it's an as important to be a cool dad as it is to be a good dad. Fair enough. We can't all be best friends with our kids. It just doesn't work. I mean, look at me in earnest. Hmm. Our job as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. Hmm. We just we just risk them bumping, but you know, give them some black lipstick. Uh, they didn't have my haircut, so I had to do with what I have. Yeah, you're right. But it'd be nice to have it both ways. Hearing these guys talk about this makes me think of my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well. But it might come a time when it won't be like that. Is college when what happens? When that happens? Ah. Don't let us eat up your time, daddy. Go meet some other people around the neighborhood. 
Okay, last people, guys. Robert and Brian, I guess. Yes, we're 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 the emo. We're the emo uh, ikemens with glasses. I stand across. I glance across the yard and notice Robert and Brian chatting over drinks. Man, I don't think I want to deal with being one up by Brian right now. But I guess I could live with learning more about Robert. Oh no, they caught me staring. Oh no, Brian's waving me over. Shoot. I flash a smile and walk over to them. Hey, guys. <laughs> Daddy, how the heck are you? Selling in the neighborhood, alright? Oh, you betcha. Got a living room in order at least. Ah. That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the 50 in there. The game looks great in high def. Oh, boy. Daddy, have you met Robert yet? Yeah, we've met. Robert regards me over his whiskey. Good seeing you again. <laughs> we were just talking about my most recent camping trip. Spent a night on the woods with Daisy and Maxwell. She's definitely an outdoorsy one. Even caught her first fish. Oh. It's good to see you talk about your daughter out like that. I bet you loved it. Hey. And it's great that she loves the outdoors. Mine loves being inside. Sounds like me. Brian raises his eyebrows at me. Being inside making art she won a local competition for that art yep mm. did i put it on too strongly robert stares at me blankly for yeah. a second anyway uh -huh. i haven't gone camping in years oh damn robert just like shrugged us off literally just like ignored our comment about amanda damn i don't like him he kind of rude guys i haven't gone camping in years not since last time same here. Well, things change once you have a kid. Wait, what happened last time? Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Well, old Johnny Boy and me were out in the back country. Johnny Boy is a strong kid. Met him in my army days. Comes from Kansas. They build him tougher out there. Anyway, things go south pretty quick. Johnny Boy breaks his ankle when the rope bridge snaps. You could see the bone popping up through the skin. Johnny Boy screaming now, crying for his mama, losing blood. We're two days out from the next living soul, and here I am with my dear friend bleeding out in front of me. <laughs> I'll take his drink away from him. I'm able to dress the wound, but now I got a fireman carry out six foot, 180 pounds man over some of the toughest terrain I've ever been in. Uh -huh. Won't lie to you, there were moments during those two days when I thought about leaving old Johnny Boy. But you build a bond with your brothers in arms, and that bond never breaks. I got that boy back to civilization, but I lost some of me out there. Hello, Maya! I guess that's camping for you. Brian and I stare in disbelief. Robert takes another long sip of whiskey. I... I'm just kidding. My friend John and I went inner tubing down a river, and he lost a flip-flop. Missed that kid. Brian and I laugh nervously. Uh -huh. Or am I kidding? Brian and I tense up again. I... I'm kidding. Phew. Amanda and Daisy barrel up to us laughing. Daisy is holding a paper plate in front of her like a steering wheel. We gotta get off this haunted truck. Ha! Oh no, the ghost locked the doors. How are you tired? Yo, I had like such a... A biz, like a, a full pack day yesterday, so... It's me. I had a really like intensive day yesterday and um then I slept kind of late. And then today I woke up like at 7.30, so um started streaming at 8 30. So I'm just a little like um sleepy now. Yeah, may maybe it's me who has to go take a nap after this. Oh no, the ghost locked the doors. Yeah. Quick, hit the emergency escape button. But trucks don't have emergency escape buttons. <laughs> Ugh, then, uh, hit the brake, I guess, and then we'll get out of the truck. Ah. The imaginary truck? Anyway, we're safe from the ghost, but how will we ever survive this arctic tundra? Daisy, you might have to eat me. Are you prepared to do that? I'm prepared to do anything to survive. <laughs> That's cold-blooded. I like that. You pulled an all-nighter. Yo, Maya, I hope at least you're getting some good sleep. Although I'm not sure I have the materials required to properly cook you. You know what? That reminds me of the last time I went skiing. Robert! <laughs> Wait a second, are you guys playing long haul ice road paranormal ghost truckers? 
Okay, Ollie, have a great breakfast. Okay, eat wells. Yeah. Amanda and I love Amanda and I love. Amanda and I love that show. It's the best, especially that episode where Caleb hides Flint's keys and Flint retaliates by breaking an ancient cursed urn and sending the spirit after him. Yeah, it's such a quality reality television. I don't watch a whole lot of television, but I do enjoy that show. That and war documentaries. All right, Daisy, I found us a couple of bugs. They're gonna make a great meal. Lots of protein. Gotta keep us from starving out here in this harsh, icy wasteland. But there's a whole table of food right over... Daisy, it's a game. We're playing pretend. It's what kids do. Live a little. Amanda gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms on a snack table. They eat them with mock disgust. Let's go find kindling for a fire. Okay. But not an actual fire. Because we're playing pretend? Yeah. Now you're getting it. Daisy and Amanda run off with a cute couple kids. Uh. Man, I've never seen her get along with anyone so quickly. I guess Amanda just sort of has a way with kids. Oh. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Hmm, it's nice that he's not trying to one me up this time. Maybe we can have a regular friendship after all? Really? Aww. She just kind of keeps to herself. Her teachers say she spends every recess in the library. I think the other kids are intimidated by her intelligence. There it is. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age too. She used to have a habit of crawling under tables and crying every time we took her to a restaurant. She bit people too. <laughs> oh ho ho, kids, right? Gotta love them. You're required to by law. I hear that. Well, since they're getting along so well, maybe we should try to put together a little play date for them. They do seem to get along really well, but the thought of continually hearing all about Brian's accomplishments is rough. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellas. <sighs> and without further ado, let's work some magic. Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula in the air. It's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? He's working faster now, effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties and perfectly grilling onions on the side. One after another, the dads take notice and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful technique. Oh. You probably didn't know this, Daddy, but Joseph's known around here for his grilling ship. Oh. He's ungrillievable. Hey. I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. Hey. Oh my god, those puns, guys. Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about him. Huh. Must are we keep talking about this? Can't we just appreciate the artist? Hey. Oh my god, these puns are like coming in one after one, guys. I've never seen him make a mistake. Oh. Okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Yeah. Please stop. All of the children at the party boo the glorious display of puns in unison. <laughs> Alright guys, the food's ready. Okay, Maya, take care and have a great meal, alright? Please form an ordinary barbecue line. Amanda groans. We all grab our food and hang out, enjoying perfectly ch cooked cheese. Oh, I want a cheeseburger too. I'm hungry. Maybe I'll get some for lunch. Hey. Yo, seriously. this, Yo... This was the time for Cesar to pop up and like say a pun, man. Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac. Right. Kind of nice, isn't it? Feels like there's a real community here. Totally helps when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. Oh. We're happy to have you here, man. I think you're gonna like this neighborhood a lot. Oh. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all those kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really make a killing. Mm. Hey, why don't you add us all on dad book? Dad book? Oh. Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. Oh, dad book. We're all on it, so if you ever need to reach out to anyone, that's the simplest way to do it. Yo, my, my brain is slowly getting fried too, Cesar. Ah. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories, drink a beer as our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Cameron, Sita, and those weird twins. I think they wanted her soul. Yay! Successfully completed chapter one! Amanda and I walk back to her place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. Pretty fun party, don't you think? 
I mean, I got a burger in me. I felt like I was at a networking event. Wish I could been playing Paranormal Eyes Road Truckers. I think I'm going to go for either one or two. So, um... Yo, to be honest, it really felt like a networking event. I'm not going to lie. I'm exhausted. We need another nap. So, I think... Shall we choose number two, guys? One? Okay, I got a burger in me. Anyone else? I want... Okay, so Elna's number one. I'm number two. Number two. Cesar, what do you want? Number one and number two. You know what? Let's just flip a coin. Number one. Okay, number one. Number one it is, Dan. Sweetie, if I can impart any sort of wisdom upon you right now, and not that this was a bad situation, but if you're ever in an uncomfortable situation, always look for a sort of silver lining. The silver lining get you through to the other side. We ate Rockenbergs today, and it was good. Amen. Hmm. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on that book. Maybe I will if I ever figure out how social media works. I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. Huh. Okay. Okay, guys. I think we're going to end it here for today. I think we, uh... Finished chapter one, so that's good. We met officially all the potential dads. Um, I think next Sunday when we play this, we'll have to um, start getting closer and start being, you know, selective on who we want to cozy up to. But yes, thank you so much, my lovelies, for joining the stream. I had a lot of fun with you guys. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go eat and going to go nap now or something. Um, hopefully I have a... I have enough voice to keep recording today because I wanted to finish recording my covers. But, um, yes, thank you very much, guys, for joining. I hope you guys have a great evening. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm thinking for next Tuesday stream, maybe we'll continue writing the story. Maybe we'll be writing episode two next Tuesday. So, um, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, thank you so much, guys, for joining. It was a pleasure having you guys. It was so fun meeting, uh, indeed, meeting Dilfs together. I feel uh, we have bonded even better. So, guys, don't forget we're playing Goose Goose Duck next weekend. So, uh, yeah, no, Clemence, thank you for joining. Oh, Clemence, uh, I don't know if you know, we have a Discord channel. Yes, Clemence, we have a Discord channel. The link is on my uh, YouTube channel. There's the Discord. And next weekend, we're going to be playing Goose Goose Duck uh, in the group together on Discord. So feel free to join Clemence if you feel like it. And Marseille. If Marse oh, is Marseille gone though? Well, if Marseille are still here, uh, we're playing Goose Goose Duck via Discord next weekend. So feel free to join in. Take care, guys. I love you all. Have a great evening. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I'll see you all next time.